Hey guys, welcome to Pellets and Pits. Hey, today is all about a barbecue inspired flatbread. We took uh, country style ribs, we smoked them, then we braised them, chopped them up. We made our homemade flatbread dough. We just put it on the Weber sear wood with a uh, pizza attachment. If you guys wanna see how we make this, here we go. Alrighty, to get started, I think that the idea is we're gonna let this dough rise for quite a long time. Uh, you can do it like minimum 12 hours. We might give it like six or seven hours to try it out. So it'll give us plenty of time to smoke the pork later. So here we go. So we have water, salt, sugar, and yeast. We're just going to add the yeast to the water, let it bloom, make sure it's alive. Give it about five minutes and we'll add that. About 10 minutes later, we're going to add some salt and sugar. Give that a mix. This is double O flour. And then our yeast mixture. Form a shaggy dough. We're gonna cover it, let it sit on the counter for about six hours. While that's going on, we can start our pork and get all that stuff taken care of. All right, we got our pellet smoker starting. Uh, we got a mix of hickory and like oak and all that stuff. So it's really like a hodgepodge of uh, pellets I've had lately. All right, we got some country style ribs here. You can absolutely do a whole pork butt if you wanted to, but honestly, since we're gonna break it all together, break it up and like, I just want more flavor. You know, that's just what I'm looking for, just more flavor. So uh, you wanna do a pork butt? Absolutely, you can do a straight up pork butt, but I just thought it might incorporate a little bit more flavor using one of my favorite sauces. I don't get it often, but when I do, it seems like I go through it in a hurry. I was just gonna say, it's not in the fridge for long. Nope. So just a binder on this. So the idea with these pork ribs, we're basically, or the country style ribs, we're basically just going to smoke them and then uh, braise them and just get it super tender. So when it goes on the flatbread, um, you know, you got some like tender pork going on, so. Today we're going straight up, cue that all the way around the sides. Ooh. Somebody's calling because they must like it. All right, we got up to about 250. We're not going to overthink this. We're not going to overdo it. We're just smoking them until the internal is about 160. Then we're going to take them off make a little braise sauce. Alrighty, roughly two hours later, here we are. Some beautiful looking ribs. We've averaged about 160 degrees. Honestly, if you wanna take them farther than this, you absolutely can. But I don't want to. So we're gonna take them off. All right, today we're gonna to do a little mixing match. I like that Tommy's barbecue sauce. This happens to be the spicy one and that Allegra we've tried out before. Uh, it's definitely tomato based. Since we're doing a flatbread, I thought it might work well together. So I'm just gonna do a little method here. Absolutely no rhyme or reason. Just basically creating a braising liquid. I want this stuff to be soft and tender. To that because it's just the way I like it. I'm gonna add just a little bit of vinegar on the bottom. Take these ribs and kind of just start tossing them around. Take some foil, wrap it tightly, back on the pit it goes until this stuff is roughly about, I don't know, maybe 200, something like that. And then we'll let it like rest and like we'll pull it and all that stuff. I definitely want it to be tender. So if we need to overshoot our temp, we can. Alrighty, an hour and a half later. I have not peeked at these. We're just gonna test the, uh, if they're done enough. All right, so what I wanna do is just let these cool down completely, maybe about to 150 degrees, somewhere through there. We're gonna chop them up. 
Alrighty, we have two different types of cheeses. We have a medium cheddar and an extra sharp cheddar. So maybe that makes it like a kind of cheddar. Anyways, the point is we got orange and white, works for me. We're gonna grate these. We're gonna slice up some onions, get some jalapenos knocked out, some green onions. What else goes on there? I think what? that's it. Alrighty, so our pork is rusted. We're about to start on that dough. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I decided to use this grill today because it's 600 degree function. Tried it out for the first time. Uh, not the 600 degrees, but the, uh, the idea of a piece of stone inside of it. So we're gonna go to 600 degrees. I just refilled it with pellets because obviously when you're running that high temperature, you can go through a lot of pellets quickly. We'll let it heat up, let us do a thing that's gonna give us time to make our flatbreads. All right, our dough is out looking good. I'm just gonna throw a little flour down. At least start the shape of it, and then we'll switch it to the peel and get it going. Just work it with my hands a little bit, just kind of stretch out that dough. I figure if I try to aim for a circle, it'd look like a rectangle by the time I was done, so. <laughs> typical yep the dimples i want in there i think it's going to hold the sauce a little bit more we should be able to get at least 16 inches wide that's the goal throw a little cornmeal down that's going to help the dough kind of release that's our secret don't tell anybody <laughs> see how easy it is to move on the peel If you find a bone in there, obviously just go and take it off. And then we're just going to uh, slice and chop. See that nice smoke ring around there? I'm trying to find some fatty pieces. I think the fatty pieces will work well. Mm -hmm. They're so easy to make and they're so good. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good bite. I'm gonna lightly come through here. Just add just a touch of red sauce, your favorite, homemade, store-bought, doesn't matter. I'll tell you one thing, that grill is getting hot. It's like I can feel it from here. I can feel it blow in the air tonight. <laughs> The mix of that cheddar. Come back in with some mozzarella. Come back in that barbecue pork. That's why I was telling you, you could do this with brisket, pulled pork, burn ends, flatbread burn in. I might be all about that a little chuck roast. Just a light drizzle, more barbecue sauce. I'm using that uh, Allegro. Uh, just seemed like it had a little bit more tomato stoutness to it. Some thinly sliced red onions. You can use pickled red onions. Some of those fresh jalapenos. You ready to load it? Yep. Whew. All right, I've just been rotating the pizza as it needed. Just to uh, rotate it on the stone. I'm gonna show you kind of like the bottom here. What we're looking at. Nice little crust on the bottom. Oh, it's so hot. so good obviously i'm not a crazy i know you wouldn't think so but i am gonna let it cool i'm actually uh made two other flatbreads i'm gonna make cheese flatbreads for the girls so i'll be working on there uh let that heat back up while this cools down all right over here i got a fantastic little cheese pizza same dough as that flatbread but that's for the the girls so i had it cooling on this cooling rack 
if you don't know, you should. It really helps to keep that crust crispy. All right. Any piece you want first, the one that's maybe cut all the way through. <laughs> Dough's all the way done. You see the air pockets in there? Did good on that. Good job. Mm, mm hmm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. Let's see. Boy, the dough does look good. Let's see. Let me try to get a. Hold it still. Hold it still. Hold it still. Not bad. Mm. Definitely ain't perfect. <laughs> A lot better than what I could have done. Mm. Well, pretty good. Yeah. Mm. That barbecue sauce comes through. I like the chew of the pork. Like, obviously, pulled pork can be a lot more tender. But for some reason, on this one, I was just thinking that that chew for the country style ribs. Mm. Barbecue burn ends you can put on here. And obviously, you can make it any way you want to. Not bad. Mm -hmm. It's pretty dang good. All right, guys, I'm gonna enjoy it. We got another one on the uh, grill. That's my other daughter's, and I hope they get a hot pizza. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press subscribe. Da, 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 da. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button. Pound the notification button. And share it with your friends. Peace. Mm, that is good. Look at that piece right there. Now oh, that's a dang looking little piece. Golly, that looks good. That's a hack. That pizza stone on the grill. Oh yeah. You don't even need a pizza oven.